What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame Room 4. In this issue 40 from Builder Terminator T800 we're going to be creating the Thoracic Cage. So I can't wait to do this. This piece is going to bring this all together. You want to make sure you've got all your bits together. 40-1 is the Thoracic Cage strut. 40-2 is the socket liner. 40-3 is the Thoracic Cage base. 40-4 is the M2 nuts. 40-5 are 7 pm 2 6mm screws. And 40-6 are the 3 6mm screws one spare um, so guys make sure that you have all of these out ready to go you will need to go grab from issue 38 uh, the part that you built up and we will be building onto this so this is really exciting I can't wait to do this um, I know what it's going to look like because I looked at the back of the magazine and it's just going to bring it all together all this hard work is now starting to build up into something really good so you will need to take the two pins 40 dash ones and then put those in they only go in one way the same as the other pin and you you will need to screw them in with the 40-6 screws on the back there and then you should have three pins now uh, including the previous one that we already did so we should have this pin here you can't get them around the wrong way remember they are cut out so that they fit into the slots perfectly and you will just need to attach them each side just here and there so if you've done that then you're on the right track guys you just need to make sure I don't think you can get this wrong but you know if you can then just be careful right once you've done that you do need to place the nuts into the back so the 40-4s there's four of them in the bottom section there so we will just tape them down to make sure that they don't fall out like we do in um, most of the previous videos that we've done so there you go so there's one two three four uh, bolts there shall we say uh well nuts we'll keep calling them bolts but they're nuts so you want to just make sure that they are taped down like so once you have done that we will now need to grab 40-3 Free. We will need to make sure we got it up the right way. I don't think you can get it wrong because it is a locating lug on there to hold them in place. You do need to attach that 40-3 piece down uh, with the screws that are provided. So you do need to put them down there as well. And when they are connected, you should have this. So this is where the screws go in there. So there are the four screws. And then when you uh, look at the back, once we just peel the tape off, you'll be able to have a look and see what goes in there. So the 40-5 are the screws that you want to have that go through there. So 40-5s go through into the nuts that are already held in place. And then that just, you know, this is going to support it so well because it's all nuts and bolts. So it's going to be really good when it's coming together because it's going to support everything that we put onto it. The next thing you want us to do is just to put a couple of pins in place. They're really easy to do. They're 39 dash threes and they just sit in there. You don't have to glue them in or anything. They're just a supporting pin ready to take uh, the weight of the whole body that's going to be connected to it. We're just going to have a quick read through. So the next thing that it wants us to do that I forget to do is to put 40-2 into the top piece where the head's going to go. But we do do it, so don't worry. We will show you that. But what it tells you to do afterwards is just to line up um, the arm section so the top, top shoulders with the center piece just will need to slide over the top bit where the head is going to go so we'll show you what that um, all together in a minute so we just need to pop that down I'm just showing you in real time because you wanted to see how easy it goes on so there you go so you just need to make sure that those pins are nice and lined up give it a little bit of a push just a one center pin that goes through down like so you will need to push it all the way through just be careful not to lean it on anything because you don't want anything to break off especially not at this stage when we've come so far now what we need to do is we will have to go grab the little black 40-2 we do not put that in at this stage because like I said it, um, just a minute ago we forget to put that in so we're just going to move forward just quickly to put in the little joints in place so the 34-2 and the 30 um, yeah, 34-2s which are from issues 37 and 38 just sit on there make sure you haven't lost the little black um, rubber bits that they sit onto you want to make sure you still got them they should just be sitting there nice and easy onto that piece what you need to do is just place the head in there but you will need to put 40-2 in there first which I do forget to do we will go back and make sure that that piece is put in there once we realize well once I realize that it's missing but I realize after this piece because it's asking us to put the 40-2 and go grab the um, the part which is from issue 37 which is the 35-2 and to put 40-2 in the top there that's when I realize I need to do the head one so you are supposed to do that first but we will just go back and do this quickly now so it only just slots in place you don't have to glue it or anything it literally just sits down there like so 
Once that's done, you will need to just put the top cage over that and secure it into place. So once you've done the head and you've got everything lined up, you just need to put that down. So it says fix part 35-2 in place with the three six millimeter screws. And then it, there are three places where that will go. You will need to just make sure everything's lined up really well. Just don't start screwing it all down and hoping that everything's slotted into place because it doesn't. You need to move a few things around. Make sure that all the pieces that you have there are in the right sections at the right time. Because if you do this and then you mess anything up now, you're going to be rebuilding a lot of this. So I'm just going to try and point out to you on each bit where they go. So... The three screws that it's asking us to have, which are the six millimeter screws, are there, there, and there. That's the last one there, so there you go. And they're the ones that hold that all into place. So that whole section is now held into place like so, just by them top pieces just holding it all together. So that's the top part of the vertebra cage connecting to the back part. It wants us to put two bottom screws in. They are also um, fixed to the bar. So use the two PM uh, six millimeter screws uh, to fix the bar at the bottom of the part 35-2 to the part 40-3. So once you've done that, you will need to fix that into place. There's only two of the screws at the bottom there that are held in place. So there's not too much to it, but they just sit down there like that. So once you are finished and complete, that's what you should have looking. This is what you're, Terminator should look like at this completed stage. So it should look like that in the video. So we're just going to lay it down and have a quick look through the um, magazine. So we've got a little bit here about war games. We don't want to read too much into it. Like I say, I try not to spoil the read for you. So you've got something to read about military computers. And then it's showing us what we're going to be looking forward to in the next issue. So we're going to start to assemble the vertebra again. Can't wait to build this with you guys. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care now. Bye bye.